LakelandCarKeys.com. All right, we're just cutting in for part five. I'm just going to give a, a brief update of what's been going on. I've been working on the car. I got most of uh, what I need for the turbo line lined up as far as what I want to do for like water lines, oil lines. I got the downpipe partially tacked. I just have to do one connection where it passes the slave over here. Uh, I'm waiting for the traction bar setup to come in so I can see exactly where this radiator is going to be positioned. And I have the AC condenser uh, lined up to go right up behind there. It's going to clear everything. Um, I got a bunch of suspension stuff in. Um, the strut mount uh, three-point bar is... Uh, Part of that, what we're going to do, and then I'm still finishing up the rest of the AC tuck, where it looks like if I can braze those connections on that evaporator core, it's going to be able to uh, allow me to keep my battery in the stock location. The lines come out, they're there, and as you can see them down here, I haven't tucked them away. My new intercooler and track bar should be in. The, the bumper bar should be in uh, by the by Sunday, I believe. Everything said it should be here. And then this is just your the basic run of the mill uh, front suspicion front suspension replacement. So I got uh, both lower arms, both upper arms, the rear upper trailing arms, outer tie rods, inner tie rods new lower ball joints the uppers have the ball joints on them um the sway bar bushings and the tie rod bellows and i have here which is the radiator remount locate kit that's gonna mount on the traction bar when it comes in uh i do have the stark mount locations on the car but they, they're a little bent so that's why the radiator looks a little crooked so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those out and uh, remount it on the on the traction bar, and then I got a basic rear uh, lower control arm set up with the brace. I did order a rear sway bar that's also gonna go with that, uh, which hasn't come in yet. And then I watched some videos on YouTube, and uh, I got these Hobart aluminum brazen rods, and this is what I'm gonna use to. Uh, try to move that mountain bracket on the evaporator core back some and then also I got some uh, <coughs> Loctite I'm going to put on those turbo manifold studs this is the highest temperature one that I can find locally um, so yeah I'm going to give that a try hopefully the, the bolts don't back out like the last time they did but yeah got the vacuum port uh, drilled and tapped on the, on the turbo and yeah so every, everything's lined up but it's just a matter of uh, I'm waiting on parts I'm still waiting on the coilovers to come in but in the meantime I'm going to start ripping this apart and uh, getting those suspension components in and yeah so hopefully, hopefully by this time next week everything's back together and it's running again and then I can focus on getting the body panels that I need and uh, doing some body work. You know, I got to go and uh, see about getting this rear quarter repaired. I'm not sure, you know, if the frame underneath there needs to be pulled out in the or if it's just sheet metal work. So once we get in there, we'll see what it looks like behind there. But, yeah, she's coming along. Like I said, I was going to give a real quick update of... Uh, where I'm at, turbo wise, and I did get that uh the correct drain. The last one I I had wasn't correct. Um, I did have have to bend it enough, but it's gonna clear. And I'm waiting on uh the turbo feed restrictor. I know there is a a built-in restrictor there, but I still needed the adapter. And the original one that I ordered for GT30 was incorrect. I mean, it was right. The threads just weren't long enough to get in there. So I ordered another one. So 
that's kind of where I've been at this week. I had three or four items that I ordered and they were completely wrong when they got here. Um, I ordered some T3 turbo manifold gaskets on Amazon and they sent me T4s and I returned them and asked them to verify and send me the right ones and they sent me T4s again so they're both going back. I already had two, uh, two turbo manifold gaskets here regardless so um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the ones I had and I don't need new ones. I mean they, those were new they were just old stock hanging around. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to cut it here. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully by the next video or two, we'll have this running and we can go in and uh, set up the AC system. All right, LakelandCarKeys.com. All right, so a little bit later in the day and uh, my front mount intercooler did come in, so that's good. Uh, just waiting on the new bar to go across the front. And my coilovers actually came in, so I can uh, take a look at these and hopefully we can get these set up sometime during the week. So I believe, other than my rear sway bar, I believe this is everything I needed for the suspension. So I definitely have uh, everything I needed for the front. And the rear, I mean, that sway bar would go on last. So, um, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully if it's a somewhat quiet day, I can go ahead and uh, go ahead and just bang out the suspension so I can get the car back on the ground. So, right here, these are uh, the Max Peden rods. Um, they are the, I believe it was like, CT07 or C0T7 um, and this is what it comes with it comes with a Max Peden Rog decal a Rise decal looks like an owner's manual and then I have the locking wrenches and uh, two small Allen wrenches so I'll need those when I go ahead and do some adjustments So this is what I want to just come and get a visual on how they look. So I know I've I watched some videos where there were some issues with uh, them showing up and being in a bag full of oil, which uh, was indication that the shock was leaking. But these look these look pretty good. We've got damper adjusting. So hopefully this this is preloaded and I can just adjust the height for uh, what I want it. All right. Let's see. So that one there is one of I believe one of the rears. Yep. All right. So this is the other rear. So I'll just go over, make sure everything's tight, make sure everything's where it should be, and then we'll have to play with the height adjustment. All right, so inside there's some uh, shock collars, depending on uh, what model Civic you're using. You might need these uh, rings to, to fit over your shocks, or fit in your forks, I should say, and then uh, it comes with the brackets for the uh, the brake hoses. So you have one for the left side, one for the right side in the front. And that way you could wrap your brake hoses properly around the coilover. And it will move with the coilover as it should. Alright, and these are one of the fronts. So if you need... Uh, those cups, they would go down on the bottom here. So it should be a, a pretty straightforward install. So, uh, I definitely have uh, nothing too hard but some work to do tomorrow. 
And that's the last one there. So yeah, this is it. She's coming along. Like I said, I'll I'll get all this stuff installed, get it banged out, and then uh, if I have to tow it, I'll tow it. But I'm going to try to get it lined up as good as possible and uh, bring it to one of my buddy's shops and have him do a full alignment. Alright, so I just want to give you that little update.